In this new series, we are going to work on a real-time project using SSIS. Our project is Domains Who is Database Integration. As a developer, the first thing that I wanted to analyze is what is our project, that is Domain Who is Database Integration. So what does it do? So let's go and have a quick look on what it is. So what is a Who is Database? Who is, is provides complete historic domain Who is data such as registrant name, email, registration address, organization, register, and many more details about domain names. Who use this information? The companies that analyze on cybersecurity issues, registers, who sell by domains, law enforcement agencies, marketing research analysts, brand production agents, fraud solution vendors, and many other analytics company use this information for fraudulent activities analysis and uh, many more business related activities. So our company needs this information for their analysis and so they ask us or assign this project to us to integrate this data into our SQL Server destination. So we got a good idea on what it does and the importance of this project and we are motivated now, right? So the next step is technical challenges, how we receive this data and how we need to integrate and, uh, and all these details. So let's go and have a quick look on that as well. Now, how to download this Whois data? So upon subscription, we download a large snapshot of registered domains with most current Whois records. And then they provide daily feeds of newly registered, newly dropped domains, existing Whois record changes. And then they continue receiving a large snapshot of all registered domains with the most current who is records each quarter. So in these three ways, we receive data from them and we have to integrate that data integration process into our SQL Server destination, right? So, and also they have provided some sample files that we can use for integration package designing. So we can have a look and we can design our integration package before we subscribe to them or uh, we can for our project purpose mainly. So let's have a quick look on the sample file first. So download a sample from, file from here. So and look at what it, the design and what we receive. So we receive files like this for each domain name or GTLE generic uh, Top level, top level domain names and CC domain names. So we will be receiving files similar to this. So this is just a sample. And uh, let's have a quick look on browse more samples here and use this username and password. You can have a quick look on this URL again also. Uh, let's go to that sample folder. Then you will see all these different versions they are maintaining as they're providing. They are making changes to their source system or this extract source file. So that, that's why they are maintaining this different uh, so, uh, versions and also if you notice they are providing these samples at different frame, time frames right so that means these feeds or these files may get changes on some quarterly basis or half yearly basis like that so whenever we receive changes we have to be notified and then we have to make some changes to our integration otherwise it will give some errors right so all this information we need to analyze before we start our project and we need to note down all outliers and all and then we start developing our project in real time. So these are the actual source files that we receive from um, this company and uh, they are providing a zip file for each domain name. Okay, all these are related to each domain name. So who is purchasing, who is selling, what are the expired domains and all the details about each domain. So our company needs all these files and they want to integrate all this information into their source systems that is SQL Server destination. Okay, so this is our project. So, so we now we need to download this information from this URL and then need to upload this information into our SQL Server destination. So this is our integration process, right? So this is how we analyzed the source data. And now we got an idea on how to integrate these sources into our destination. So 
we are good to go to the development. So the first step is to download files from this URL into our local network drive or any drive. So that's our first step in our project. Right. So let's go to our project initial setup and then actual project development. Thanks for watching my video. See you in the next task.